In this session, we're going to go over how to track the status of an application. We're going to start on the DNR's main page, and we're going to click on Licenses and Regulations. Then we're going to go down to Water Permits, and click that. And now we're on the Water Permit Applications page. And here, by selecting Track, anyone in the public may view the status of any Wisconsin permit application. Please note, a WAMS ID is not required to view the status of a permit application. And the public does not have access to confidential information in the SharePoint document set. Click Track Now to open the Permit Search page. On this page, I want to bring a couple of things to your attention. If you scroll down, you will see two lists. The top list are active permits whose status is still pending and the bottom list are permits whose status has been determined. If you click on this little arrow, you can activate the next 10 permits in the list. A couple of tracking features on this page are the column headers, which will allow you to sort by ascending and descending order. Simply click on the little arrow and then select which one you want. The other feature is the filter. You can query by application type and or county. You can also search by applicant's name or by the last digits of the application number. We're going to do a search for this permit number. I believe it's a waterway and wetlands and we're going to apply the filters and here it is and as you can see it's still an active permit which means it has not been approved yet and if we want to see the files within the application we simply click on the number and there are the files and if we want to open any of these files we simply click on download item click open as it downloads and there are my files. And as you can see there are six pages and I can use this arrow to pan through through each page. And that's how you view files and sort through applications using the filters on the permit search page.